three more days. Give or take a day or two. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Critical Overlord here. Um, I have some pretty exciting things to share in this up in this new video. Uh, over the weekend, I managed to find images of old Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral like concept arts for the movie. I found some old images for the film over the weekend. Uh, this is coming from a blog that Victor Salva, the writer and director of the Jeepers Creepers, the first three films, one and two, and the recent third film that, that we actually got last year. Um, he used to have a blog back in the day that I actually followed. At the time when I was following it, I wasn't exactly that aware that this was, that this, I, if, I wasn't aware that this was actually Victor Salva, but I saw these images and this was like way back, I think this was in around 2012 when I first came across this blog. The blog is basically Victor Salva just going over his entire career as a director and a filmmaker in general in this industry. Um, and he discussed like some of his plans and wishes that he had. And he talked about Poho County and how it's been involved heavily with his past films and perhaps all the movies are connected. So like his film Clown House, which has a lot of controversy surrounding it for reasons if you're familiar with him, you know why. Um, he mentioned Jeepers Creepers, the second, the second Jeepers Creepers, and he talked about plans for the film that we actually never ended up getting, Jeepers Creepers Cathedral. If you recall, there was a time when Jeepers Creepers 3 was going to be set 23 years after the first two films, and that's why I actually opened up with that little clip of Ray Wise's uh, character at Jack Taggart Sr. because fans have, fans now have finally gotten Jeepers Creepers 3 and we're still waiting to see what happens in that barn 23 years later because now it's like, well, we have three, now what's gonna happen with four? I honestly doubt Jeepers Creepers 4 will ever come out. Uh, the script for it is done according to what Gina Phillips has said and what Jonathan Breck is saying. Jonathan Breck actually had an interview last year where he said that Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral, the film that was set to be 23 years after the first two movies, he says that Victor Salva turned that into a TV series. So with that in mind, perhaps we could still see what Cathedral ended up being and perhaps what Victor Salva has in mind now, if he's even able to do anything, is for Cathedral to be a one season miniseries and that would ultimately bridge into the final film and the final chapter of the puzzle piece jeepers creepers 4 and whether that be titled cathedral or not is i'm gonna guess it's not gonna be titled cathedral uh i really do not i don't think we're ever gonna see the series conclude unless victor salva steps down if he steps down and gives the rights over to someone else but then you have to consider the fact that maybe no one wants that that dirt surrounding their so like if Blumhouse were to purchase this property, I think Blumhouse would in return get some negativity because then you'll have people saying, oh, how could Blumhouse buy, buy this from a guy like that or such and such, and then they'll start attacking Jason Blum. And you know, there's, there's just, I, I'm sure there's people out there like big production companies like Blumhouse or A24. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's people out there who want to buy this property but they also have fear of the backlash they can receive due to victor salas past uh past sins but anyway with these two images i'm going to put them on screen right now one of them shows uh well the images at first let me tell you what they revealed they revealed that in jeepers creepers 3 cathedral there was going to be two characters named greg and rowan um now this is from the finale this would have been featured in the, like i guess the final moments of the film greg and rowan would have factored into the overall finale of the movie there would have been a c4 involved and judging from one of the images i'm assuming greg would not have made it out alive greg would end up dying and it would have been down to rowan and the creeper now what i'm taking away from these images is that gina phillips's character trish and ray wise's character and jack taggart they were not going to be fact fact factoring into the overall finale with the creeper which is kind of kind of uh anticlimactic because after because the way the film was the way the film is being set up the way the film was set up you would think that they would be involved with the creepers ultimate demise 
and to see that they weren't actually going to because what it looks like is happening here is that the creeper is, was going to get blown up so to see that neither of those two characters are here after being such a prominent aspect of what jeepers creepers 3 was going to be is kind of it feels kind of anticlimactic to me i think that cathedral because there's actually the script for cathedral has been online for quite some time if i can find it I will email it to you guys. You, ju you just have to leave your email down in the comment section below. Um, it's online somewhere. I just have to find it again. But if you would like to read it and I, if I find it, I will email you a link or email you a PDF to your email. You, you just have to leave your email address down in the comment section. But the film itself would have been nice because it would have been a concluding chapter. Uh, if I'm recalling correctly, because I read the script for Cathedral a long time ago, it had Giselle back in the film. Uh, Brandon Smith's character from the first film, Sergeant Tubbs, was in it. I think Derry would have had a cameo. And then also Trish had a son named Derry. And also, the reason I know these images are in fact legit is because the script does mention two characters named Rowan and Greg. I don't recall what they were doing, but I am recalling that Rowan and Greg were two prominent names featured in the Cathedral script. I believe what ended up happening was those two characters were going to come across a gigantic church and it was going to be filled with corpses and a whole bunch of other stuff and the film actually was going to go into the fact that uh the creeper was it wasn't going to necessarily reveal what the creeper was but we were going to find out that the creeper had been in the poho area for quite some time and early settlers called it a phoenix demon that's not telling you what it is but that's telling you what people in the area called it they called it a phoenix demon because it had traits of a phoenix so apparently when you burned it if you were to set the creeper on fire it would just rise again from the ashes i guess that would have been a new power we would we would have discovered in jeepers creepers 3 cathedral had the film ever taken place because and i think that would have worked fine because we never see the creeper come in contact with fire in any of the first two films so for them to introduce a new a new power of his in the third movie with him being born again from the ashes I think that would have been a very cool concept to explore. The Creeper's truck was going to be in this film. It was going to be a regular truck. It wasn't going to be like the one we actually got with the real Jeepers Creepers 3 that came out last year. The Jeepers Creepers 3 that came out last year was set in between the first two movies and that was very disappointing for a lot of people that have been waiting to see what was going to happen 23 years later. But I guess that got cut due to the budget being so low and Victor not wanting to explore the overall origins with such a low budget. Uh, but yeah, these two images, they tell they don't say much, but this is just some early concept art that was out there for Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral. Like I said, if I'm able to find that script, I will send it to you guys if you leave your emails down in the comment section. Also, in the description of this video, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies, you, movies or news you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.